So last week I went to Georgia to Dr. Curtis's office for a week-long series of very intensive treatments. They had me four to five times a day uh, undergoing traction adjustments and exercises. So I will be showing you those results. Very interesting things happened. It's 4 a.m. in the morning and we're now driving to Georgia. I just thought this uh, little section behind me with a retention pond was kind of pretty. This is in South Carolina. Kind of peaceful. One of the cute things on the day off that I had is I saw a stick bug. Another day there was, I think, a copperhead in the street, which was really cute. So the treatment was, was very intense, but it wasn't painful. It was actually very relieving. And uh, I even did my first interview with Dr. Doug, who is the other uh, doctor of chiropractic care who is at the same office. For your particular case, I'm looking at somebody who's got a lot of years ahead of them with a degenerative condition that is known to progress. So is the thing that I'm thinking of is, let's get this, right? Is let's solve this problem, manage this correctly, and put this person on the best path to health as soon as possible. He was incredibly professional and helpful um, in supporting my treatment. I will also mention that Dr. Curtis brought me in and did this treatment while he himself is actually experiencing a very major health issue um, related to his knee. I would never expect a healthcare provider um, to, to come into work in that condition, so uh, I owe him a lot of respect for that. I went ahead and started capturing some footage in their facility because I, my goal at the end of this video series is to produce a short film, a documentary about this treatment to hopefully make it the common and first uh, line of treatment before surgeries. The outcome was very interesting. In four days, we were able to do uh, basically a quick x-ray from the day that I came in without any of that treatment to the day that I left. In that period of time, we saw five millimeters of reversal out of a, about 18 and a half overall. Now this is really remarkable and, and it honestly surprised all of us. There's a couple of things, however, that we still need to figure out. One, we don't know how much retention we're gonna get with that. We, we made a lot of progress in terms of reversal, but it's a slow process in order to get connective tissue to then hold itself in place. Um, I think it's amazing, honestly. I mean, it, it's, as far as we can tell, the most amount of progress, five millimeters in four days is insane, especially so, with someone um, who has severe disc degeneration like I do. So the next steps are, um, I actually contacted the person that makes these traction tables and he's currently working on building me my own table so that I can do constant traction uh, in a supervised manner at my own house. Um, number two is the provider who had been seeing me in North Carolina who was unable to make progress. He decided that he's unwilling to continue to see me, which is frustrating because there's no other table that I can have access to in my state. One last update is that insurance got back to us and refused uh, level one appeal, which means we're now escalated to level two, in which someone independent from insurance is actually gonna review our case. So this was expected, this is the next step. And one other exciting thing that Dr. Curtis and Dr. Doug told me while I was visiting, they plan to publish their case series very soon, which includes over 300 patients of data from initial intake of, of slippage to correction. So that's probably going to be very groundbreaking for this entire treatment protocol. Really excited about that. I, I hope this was an interesting update. We saw a ton of reversal in a very short amount of time. Big question still is how well will that retain? I think what the promising thing is, is it shows that even in severe cases, somewhat reversing that is possible in a short duration of time. And now it's a matter of, can we get that configuration of the, the vertebra to, to hold over a prolonged period? And so that'll be the next step.